Okay, it is uh, 929, uh, 925. Well, am I trying to make a, a really bad April Fool's joke? Um, yeah, today's um, April the 1st, and um, two stocks on the main list. It's just uh, LTNC for a number five setup. I don't mind if I miss it again just because it's choppy. It had fake outs, you know, galore. And then, um, you know, once it was actually bottoming, it didn't even look like it was going to bottom that well. Um, it looked like it might have continued dropping. This one decided to spike twice, though, so I have to be ready for that. And um, I'll try to be ready for that, but, you know, I'm not going to force myself into trade. It doesn't have to do anything today, so that's going to be something to take into consideration. BRZL, I just have it because it was up nicely the other day. I like the price action, but um, not really something I'm looking forward to trading. Unless it's just something absolutely amazing. I think I will be looking at the other screen for stocks that are down a lot on the day for a potential number five, but um, probably not. Um, there haven't been any good runners recently, so I have to take that into consideration, but I'll definitely be looking. I did clean it up, so a lot of the dead stocks are out of there. Um, some of them are still there that might look like it might do something, and you know, some, like a lot of OTCs had their first um, green day recently too, so um, after a, like a very large downtrend, so it's just going to be a whole bunch of things to look at, but yes uh, this is where I'm at right now um, not really just ready to jump in and start trading unless just something looks very nice at least that's the idea for now all right it's uh, 9 39 a.m. and uh, BRZL I was looking at this for a number five but I not really a number five It's more like a dip buy after the uh, first day that that ran very nicely and um, because it's not a true number five a stock that's been up several days I played it very safe. I never traded it. I just didn't like the price action really um, It has to be really clean for me to want to trade it just because of the fact it was only up One other day LTNC um, I took a small buy right here at seven and I'll tell you what um, I like the the freaking uh, whatever you call it the you know the the hockey that immediately get out of the trade because um, I bought right here in the first green candle and I just didn't like the price action immediately the level two looked crap and I just wanted to play it safe and get out so um, I bought at 9:38 right the first green candle well, didn't work out I put a sell order okay I put a sell order a limit order to get out of my position. It didn't work okay it, it was sitting there for a good 10 seconds 15 seconds and wasn't doing anything it's not like my limit price was anything like outrageous or at the bid or something it was right at 7 um, I canceled the order as you can see and then I put in that um, immediate sell with the hockey immediately got executed this is how I have to trade with this um, broker if the stock just doesn't go the way I want if the price action isn't good or anything like that um, immediately just get out pressing control F1 if it looks nice the setup is looking nice and it's playing out well then I can scale out of my trade um, I can use a limit order and just get out on uh, that way and trade it accordingly uh, to the way it's moving um, but no I'm not doing that anymore um, if the trade doesn't go the way I want I'll just press control F1 just nice and simple um, the order got executed pretty much immediately like that so I don't see why I would want to trade it any other way. It was a nice attempt. Um, it was just a very small fight or a loss. It just didn't go the way I wanted, and I got out. I'll be looking now, but you know, I'll play this thing very cautiously. I, I I really don't mind that trade there at all. That was a pretty good trade. All right, it's uh, 9:56. Um, I have been watching. I guess the equivalent of paint drying, but. It might try to do something here, but the issue was that there is just too many people on the ask um, for me to really be interested. Um, obviously, it can turn around and do a nice uptrend, and it kind of looks like it was for a little bit doing an uptrend. It can still do it. Uh, there's just way too many sellers on the ask. There is a lot of support at seven, but it just, it just, it's just not a good price action. It's very boring, very choppy. Um, it hasn't been looking so nice 
Uh, I'm not saying that it won't look nice or it might not um, look nice um, ever, but as of now, it just hasn't been looking good, so I haven't considered it. Um, BRZL, Tim actually bought this stock somewhere here. I wouldn't have really done this because it just doesn't have the price action it had yesterday. Um, it could totally do a nice, um, you know, move, but again, it's just something I wouldn't have traded myself. I was considering it here because it could have bounced from here, but once it kind of did this, I wouldn't have been interested in it because it could just stay flat. It could break a new low. Um, it's doing a little bit of a curving action, which is great, but um, I just wanted to have been in the stock for that reason. Just don't like the price action there. I'll be really interested on um, whether it does it with uh, with me or without me. If it does a nice uptrend um, later on, LTNC might be one of those that drop, and then it just does a very slow uptrend over the rest of the day. But um, right now, I um, just don't want to trade it because there's always a lot of people on the ask. Although we do have a lot of support at 7, I just don't like the price action. So that's the state that I'm in right now. I'm just going to look at percent gainers, stocks up on the day OTCs. Um, if it's a first day OTC runner, um, I can't dip by those just from my lesson that I learned recently. Unless it's an inverse head and shoulders, uh, we will consider it maybe for a breakout or something like that. But I just don't see any good price action here right now. All right, it's uh, 10.06 a.m. I was looking at um, VBHI. I don't, I don't really like the 20-day chart, but it shows that it can do some nice spikes, which is good. Having a little bit of a spike today of 53%, and uh, why was I considering this? Um, because it's a um, confirmed breakout setup. So this was a ceiling right here, 23, a ceiling. Um, here it broke out, kind of dropped towards that level, held support. Um, tried buying um, around here. Um, just very, very cautious with the, um, you know, very cautious with trying to buy because um, I just don't want to see 23 crack and we get a drop to 21 and that's just really painful. So um, I could in theory still be trying to buy right here, but um, I did try to buy. It's just that my order didn't get executed, but it wasn't um, the broker's fault really because my limit probably should have been higher. Um, tried buying in this candle right here at 10.05 and um, at that point when I placed my limit order um, it was already too far from my limit price to get executed and um, sure I could have bought here but that would have been um, still kind of sketchy to buy on the red candle um, it's always good to buy on the green candle at least if um, you ask me that's what I think uh, works nicely with me it had a small spike to 25 and looks like it's back at this level right here it's still doing this like curving action so they can still uptrend but this is now bad because that's now like a level of resistance um, just not something I want to trade anymore the price action wasn't bad um, the level 2 was much nicer than LTNC which um, it did get 711, but it's just dried up. It's not really doing anything. BRZL continues a downtrend. Um, VBHI could still do it. I'm not saying it can't. It's having better level 2 than LTNC did. I just don't like how it did a spike here and it failed. Um, maybe it got too excited, right? But it's just not looking that good anymore I'm going to keep looking for setups but I'm just going to start taking it more easy now that it's um, 10 a.m. okay uh, 10 29 a.m. just to do a quick recap um, LTNC eventually had a move um, you see there's increased volatility here uh, the volume is I guess less than where it was down here but it was definitely it seems like it was a lot more volume than when it was just slowly doing this uptrend that could have at any point failed because I've seen a lot of these um, like sketchy looking ascending triangles and it just goes the way you don't think it should go so um, I don't mind missing this guy at all um, it's holding very nicely so maybe they'll try to bring this one up it's not red anymore on the day although I think it's still a red candle uh, right and it has a wick so um, it can continue to uptrend maybe it'll panic later but right now it's looking nice although it kind of looks like it might form a head and shoulders 
VBHI again was very picky. Um, didn't like the price action, um, especially when it had this candle right here. No, this one definitely, because it kind of broke this uptrend right here. Um, this would have been your time to get out of the trade, and uh, yeah, it broke it. Now it went as low as 19. So glad I didn't, um, you know, trade that badly. Well, I didn't trade it at all, but you know, glad I didn't. Um, you know try to chase it or something like that because that would have been bad um, VR excuse me HRBR is a first day stock I can't buy these on a dip um, for my lesson from what I learned and uh, this was a stocks to trade breaking news thing it didn't do much more spiking after Tim bought um, BRZL just continuing to downtrend not looking nice so this is the state right now. It's 10:30. No setups. I will be looking, but um, for now on, I'll just take things a bit easy. Okay, it's 12:16. Uh, yes, I haven't really been looking at the markets too much since the last um, video. I looked around a little. Just uh, no setups that I really wanted to trade. LTNC is the only one. If this thing just has a random, you know, 12 a.m. panic, just a lot of volume, a lot of volatility, something like yesterday, perhaps. Um, let's get rid of extended hours, something like this, perhaps, but. Otherwise, I'm not going to be too interested in it. It's going to have to crack the 68 and I guess the 66 level too. Um, HRBR, just going to remove it. It was just like a pump and dump really. Um, that's why I avoid, you know, getting in trouble. Um, you know, trying to buy stocks that are up on its first green day. I'm not going to consider that anymore unless it's like... It just can't be a dip buy setup. BRZL uh, never really did anything either despite how much it dropped and never... Um, offered a bounce opportunity. I was watching this at the market open, but I was very cautious because it was only off one day, so nothing happened there. And VBHI hasn't really been any anything that I wanted to trade either. So um, yeah, that's the state of it. Probably gonna call it off here, unless there's just a big panic um, later um, today that would be very significant to consider a dip buy. I don't see any stocks that are up a lot on the day that would interest me either so I'm going to just call things off overall a good trading day. I had a very nice uh, attempt right here at LTNC immediately bought and sold because the price action started to look really bad after I bought so saved myself from this drop here too. Um, eventually did this breakout sure but these are always sketchy and I want a quick bounce not a slow uptrend like this. Um, you know something much nicer and we haven't had that again if it drops a lot you know today makes a big panic sure but uh, I'm probably gonna call things off and I'd say it's a overall good trading day all right it's a uh, 1239 I'm um, really conflicted because I wanted to take a shower and get on some other stuff but to work on um, we have this crack under seven it looks like a lot of support is there so it's really going to depend if there's a lot of selling action on the bid um, we might get some kind of a drop and we'll, there will be support here in the 6 eights, and I think the other level yeah the support but I don't know this thing could be like the beginning of a big panic something like this um, a lot of people on the bid we do have large sellers on the ask so it's going to really depend but um, you know, it might it might have a big, you know, ideally a big flash crash or whatever you want to call it to buy into, but um, right now it doesn't look like it. It's midday. A lot of them do it midday. It's better than the afternoon. Of course, not as good as the morning, although the morning ones are very choppy. As you remember, I had an attempt here. Um, and then we had a slow grind up before it got volatile. I'm going to take a shower. It looks like a lot of people are on the bid, but it might not last. I don't mind if I miss it because it's not, you know, the perfect time, but it could definitely do it. Okay, uh, yeah, it's 2.08 p.m. I'm going to call it off right here. Um, I haven't been looking, but yeah, L LTNC, it did have a drop right to uh, 6.5 and it got 6.9. That's it. It didn't do anything nice. It wasn't a big drop or anything. Uh, I'm going to call it off here. I think it was an overall good trading day. No perfect setup, so maybe I just have to find a new setup. Stop looking at, you know, number 5 setups and start looking at stocks that are up trending on the day. Just no dip buys. So, yeah, I'm just going to call it off here. Um, you know, it wasn't a big drop, but... It, it could have done nothing. It could have been much worse than uh, a 
we'll just be ready for um, I guess not tomorrow it's gonna be Monday because uh, the second is I believe closed so yeah I'll leave it at that